Hey, hi, welcome to the series of A Spy Sessions. I am Tota Krishna Hema, your A Spy expert. Today, we would like to deal about uh, change request management or SUP10 process area. Let us get into the details of this process area. So your change request management or SUP10, the purpose of the change request management is to ensure that change requests are managed, tracked, and implemented. It is a very, it is, it is, uh, it, it is a simple statement, but in-depth statement, which is made as a part of the purpose. So process outcomes, a change request management strategy is developed. So how you are gonna manage or how you are gonna address the change requests. Uh, so that you have to document somewhere uh, as a part of your project and uh, requests for changes are recorded and identified dependencies and relationships to other change requests are identified criteria for conforming implementation of change requests are identified requests for changes are analyzed and resource requirements are estimated Changes are approved and authorized on the basis of analysis, re analysis results and availability of resources. Approved changes are implemented and tracked to closure. The status of all change requests is known and bidirectional traceability is established between the change requests and affected work products. So why I have read all the process outcomes continuously is like I would like to cover all these aspects in the upcoming base practices. So let us get into the base practices of the change request management. So your BP1 talks about develop a change request management strategy. Develop a change request management strategy including change request activities, a status model of further change requests, analysis criteria and responsibilities for performing these activities, interfaces to affected parties are, determined, are defined and maintained. So first of all, you need to document how you are gonna identify or how you are gonna document the identified change request and what is the, what all the states it will have, the statuses or open close uh, or under review or you know, uh, under analysis or uh, what would be the analysis criteria of the change request, what is the, what is the responsibility uh, of for performing these activities. So it will have a change control board. Uh, so who are all the part of the change control board? And uh, so who is the approving authority? And who with whom uh, we have to discuss and get an approval for the change request? So what all the inter interfaces to affected parties are defined and maintained. So all these things to be documented as part of your change request management strategy. Okay. And then your base practice two talks about identify and record the change request. Each change request is uniquely identified, described and recorded according to the strategy, including the initiator and reason for the change request. So similar to any other tracker, so you will have the change request tracker in place. So you need to identify the change request or you need to document the change request. You need to identify the change request with the particular unique identification number so if your project is abc abc underscore cr01 uh, so i just gave an example so uh, for the unique identification number so your project will have your own unit identity or naming convention i can say so it should be described and recorded according to the strategy including the initiator and reason for the change request. So what is the reason behind the change request? So how it is initiated? Uh, so do, to get the clarity of the requirement or you know, something is missing in the requirement. Uh, so what what exactly the reason behind uh, the, the change request? So the initiator, the change, re change requester will have that information documented as part of change request, um, change request register. Okay, your BP3 talks about record the status of change request. A change status according to the status model is assigned to each change request to facilitate tracking. So as I said, the status model will have uh, your, your own thing like whatever is defined. So open, in progress, 
closed under review so this all these all are the statuses so we need to track or we need to record the status so whenever the change request is is uh, is uh, recorded then we have to make it as open so when we are working on the change request then we have to move it as in progress so when it is under review of the change control board then we if this we have to mark it as under review or uh, when it is it is uh, it, is, it is sent to the customer for the approval then it is under approval then uh the last thing is once we have implemented that particular change request then we have to close the change request so that then then that is a closed one so your bp4 talks about analyze and assess change requests so change requests are analyzed according to the strategy including their dependencies to affected work products and other change requests assess the impact of the change request and establish criteria for conforming implementation so bp4 talks about here the analysis and assess, assess the change request so how we have to conduct the analysis according to the we need to define the strategy uh, to analyze the change request so what all the impacted or the uh, impacted or the dependent work products or the affected work products we need to identify and we need to track or we need to document all those impacted work products as a part of your change request uh, row uh, in as a in as a part of change request tracker so assess the impact of the change request and establish the criteria for the confirmation of implementation so it is like if you implement this particular change request so it may impact other parts of the work products also other work products or the other part of the same work product as well so uh, then we need to when we will say that implementation is completed is you have to uh, change each and every aspect each and every affected work pro work product then only you will say like it is implemented properly your bp5 talks about approach change request before implementation change requests are prioritized based on analysis analyze results and availability of resources before implementation and approved according to the strategy so you will have a change a change control board right so uh, so it is a common mechanism which is used to approve change requests so prioritization of change requests may be allocated with the allocated by allocation allocation to resources so when the change request sorry change control board approves uh, approves the change request so then they will decide like when exactly to be released to the customer so based on that we need to prioritize the change request so your bp6 talks about review the implementation of change request the implementation of change request is reviewed before closure to ensure that their criteria for confirmation confirming implementation are satisfied and that all relevant processes has been applied so as of now i uh, just i just remember something like you know uh, when you have when you document the change request you need to document the change request along with the approval uh, approval uh, approval conditions as well or um, the acceptance criteria of that particular change request so uh, once the particular uh, assignee says or the particular team of people says i we have done the particular change request we have implemented a particular change request then we need to um, we need to review the part, review the closure of the change request by uh, verifying the criteria of con co for confirming implementation is satisfied or the acceptance criteria to be verified your bp7 talks about track change request to closure so change request is tracked until closure feedback to be initiated initiator is provided to the initiator is provided so uh, your change request is initiated by a, a, a part uh, or your project team member or the outside of the of your project team member also so once you formally close the change request then uh, you need to tell the uh so the change requester uh that your change request is implemented proper so now i i just want to say two things here so you will have two different change requests so one change request is 
here process change request or the quality management system changes so whenever a project uh, or the other resource or any other any resource who is implementing that particular process so if he identifies there is a anomaly or there is a discrepancy in that particular template so or he needs an additional additional columns to be added to that particular template or he needs an additional content to be added to the particular process then the process change request is raised by an implementer so you will have another category called project change request so project change request is something like if there is any scope deviation from the project then it is considered to be a project change request so generally change requests will come come to the picture when uh, as as a part of uh, uh the issue resolution or the problem resolution or uh, when you uh, when you fix some defect or uh, when something is uh, uh, when you are reviewing the requirements then if you identify something is missing in the requirement or uh, uh, you need you you ask the customer for the more clarification of the requirement so that's when the pro, the customer will say like this in addition to the existing thing we need to uh, we need to do this particular uh, this particular thing also then that's when the change request generally comes uh, so i just gave some of the examples so there are so many other possibilities that the project change request will come okay and your base practice eight talks about the established bidirectional traceability established bidirectional traceability between the change request and the affected work products by the change request in case the change request is initiated by the problem uh, so established bidirectional traceability between uh, uh, the change request and the corresponding problem report so uh, if this is the case so when something some change request came as an outcome of the problem so you can't make it as a closed it as closed uh, or something like you know you need to make it as in progress or uh, under implementation kind of and you need to uh, document like what exactly uh, you need to track it with respect to the change request um, let's get into the output work product so change management plan so generally change management plan will be a part of your project management plan or the project specification document uh, so sometimes it will be an unique document also like you will have a separate change management plan as a separate document so you will have a change request or a change request tracker so change request record change control record and change request change request is a part of change control record or change uh, request tracker so you will have a review record from the change control board so uh, the change the review will be a part of your change change request tracker itself like uh, uh, the second sheet or either you can maintain it as a review review record as a separate document a part of uh, this change request tracker as well so i came to the end of this topic so if you have uh, any any more clarifications you can write to me in an email in, in an email or you can comment also so if you like this concept please please press on the like button if you want for the more automotive concepts then subscribe to my channel thank you